Hey everyone, this is Charmaine from Fantastic Crafts. I hope all of you guys are having a wonderful day. Today we're going to be making a little masculine card. It's not actually little. A masculine card, and this is a design team project for May May Made It. And this month our challenge was to create a masculine card. And the star of this um, card is the Relic stamp set. I actually, I love how the stamp set just gives you so much texture in your cards and even though this is pretty much a one layer card you can see how much texture and how much dimension it has just with the stamp set i love stamping so this is always a fun thing for me to do so i kind of start i started with the relic stamp set and i wanted the little paint marks kind of going in a ombre look so i went from the darkest color to the lightest and of course i use the oxide inks and let me tell you the oxide inks are great with the relic stamp set because it just it um for solid images i would say oxide inks are not the best but when you are adding texture oxide inks are just amazing um, for more solid images, I would definitely uh, recommend the Versify and Claire. Those are amazing for that. But for this, I really wanted um, texture, and to get that texture, the oxide inks are just beautiful. So again, I started with the darkest color and then kind of moved on down to the lightest color. Then I took the little, I know some people say it's like a bacon strip, and or I don't know. I think it looks like a wood grain, so... I'm going to go with that. <laughs> um, so I just took that wood grain and a Distress ink, uh, the mini inks, and I just kind of put it all over the background of this card. Um, I wasn't doing it perfectly. I just kind of wanted to add texture, like I said, and just kind of um, I did first generation, second generation, and third generation uh, stamping with that ink. Then I went with the paint splatter from the same stamp set. This is so cool. I love this paint splatter. It's probably the my favorite image from the stamp set because it's just so neat. So I went with those same colors, uh, the same oxide colors I used for the paint swatch, and then just kind of pounced, literally pounced to the stamp all over the page doing first, second, third generation stamping onto this background with the two or actually the three inks that I had used for that paint swatch. To finish this, well, to add another dimension of this card to this card, what I did was I took that blue from the Dioxide ink and I put it on a little craft mat. You can use anything that's slick and non-porous to do this. So I just got that uh, paint or that ink a little wet and then I just put it right onto my paper and splattered it onto um, my background with just a water brush. I'm using the Aqua water brush, but you can use any brush or anything you have to just kind of flicker that. Um, I then went with my favorite thing <laughs> at the moment. I took my new roll, uh, blending sponge and the ink. Uh, I think it's iced spruce. Yes, iced spruce. And I just inked the edges of this. I thought that gray, that blue, all the blue hues would just bring it out with that gray because the gray is a cool color. So I thought it would be really nice and it will go really well together. I then took that same ink and the stamp set Memory Lane and this has a really nice truck but I didn't want to really put a huge truck on this gorgeous background. So what I did was I just took the little Christmas trees which I just kind of made into trees <laughs> and did a few smaller images on the back trees on the back and then the larger trees on the foreground to kind of look at like look like it has some depth uh, or dimension <laughs> further away trees and closer trees i then did a ribbon and i know sometimes ribbons can get uh not so masculine but with this particular ribbon what i wanted to do was I wanted to make it like a bow tie. So what I did was I just wrapped that ribbon around my cardstock and then I just created a little bow to put on top to kind of look like that bow tie. Now, if you do want to see how I created this bow, please let me know down below. I will have a separate uh, video on how to create your own bows or ribbons and, and all that stuff. So 
if you do want to see that, I can do that for you. So I was deciding what I wanted to put or how I wanted to attach that little bow on that bow tie. Um, I wasn't sure if that glitter glue would be the best for this. Now you could use double-sided sticky tape and that would work fabulously, but I wanted it to have a little bit more dimension. Um, so all I did was I just put that little bow tie on, on a double-sided uh, square foam tape and then I just placed it right in the middle of um, or the center of that ribbon. I then moved on to the center or the sentiment part of my card. Now this relic stamp set has this really nice sentiment and I know with with um, my difficult uh, difficulty with the masculine card has always been sentiments so I thought this sentiment was great because it was just not um, masculine or feminine it was just uh, uh, a sentiment so the sentiment says live in the moment then savor the memories and I really thought it was a great sentiment for anyone so I just stamped that with that uh, metro gray from Nuvo um, and then I put some I did uh, ink the edges of that and then I put some foam squares um, and then I just simply put it right on top I wanted that image of all the trees and the colors still to be showing so that's why I kind of put my sentiment all the way on the top so that is it that's that completes the card i mean i loved it i thought it was very masculine and i know that blues are not always used especially these lighter blues the lighter hues of blues are not always used in masculine cards but i really wanted to challenge myself a little bit more especially with a bow and the sentiment and the color blue or the uh, blue hues. And I really thought I um, did a good job and actually was able to uh, challenge myself and be, and I, I was definitely happy with the result of this. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I really hope this kind of opens up your mind to a lot more creativity of a lot more different kinds of cards and to show you that you know you don't have to stick with um just browns for a masculine card you can stick with other colors and it would be gorgeous and it would be perfect for a masculine card so i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please like this video and if you haven't already please subscribe and comment below if you wanted to see that bow uh video and i will definitely create a video on how to create a bow until next time everybody Bye.